Prized fish may soon come up empty-handed. It's not Mother Nature that could empty city lakes. It is the economy. New at 10, our Colleen Chin shows us the city's fish hatchery is on the shopping block. While every city department is facing 12% budget cuts for parks and recreation, that means eliminating over $2 million. But is the hatchery the right thing to get cut? Each tug on a fishing line in Oklahoma City yeah, it's at 68. might as well have Bob Martin's name on it. Water, please. So you just have to dribble it very slowly down the side. He's been the fisheries biologist at H.B. Parsons Hatchery for 27 and a half years. On the line now is his life's work, and some say the future of fishing in Oklahoma City. Frankly, with the budget crisis that we have right now, we just can't continue to afford to fund the fish hatchery. The hatchery is where these tiny fish, walleye fry, get the opportunity to grow big enough to survive being stocked in lakes like Hefner. At no charge, the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife provides the fry to the city. To buy these fish, uh, it would probably cost them somewhere in the neighborhood of a half a million dollars a year. The State Department does not have enough ponds to rear the fry for Oklahoma City. So while closing the hatchery would save $150,000, the return on the investment of keeping it open is why critics say it would not be wise to cut the line. And as you tip it, you shake. In addition to getting free sure fish to raise for our lakes. For every dollar's worth of time Bob puts in, we can get three dollars of federal money. If the hatchery goes away, a lot of those programs that we've been that we've been doing the last eight or ten years are going to be much reduced and some of them will even go away completely. Oklahoma City's Parks and Recreation Director says he believes while the numbers of fish would go down, Oklahoma City lakes would still be good for fishing. Permit sales will continue whether we have a fish hatchery or not. It's going to be tough to see. But the stars like walleye and striped bass hybrids cannot naturally reproduce enough for what Gene Gilliland says is needed in a successful fishing program. And all the city will likely catch is problems. When the fishing gets poor enough, they'll quit buying fishing licenses. They'll quit buying city fishing permits. Uh, they won't go to the tackle shops. And, and other proposed cuts in parks and recreation, including reduction in mowing, gymnasium hours, administrative positions, and shutting down pools. The budget and cuts still have to be approved by city council. Council can also ask for revision.